Hey travelers, this video goes to all the moms out there that survived summer vacation. Let me get myself out of bed and we will talk about the travel hangover. Oh my god, that's great. No. I'm so tired. Okay. This is a real life. I just rolled out of bed and put my hair in a bun. What is the travel hangover? I am guilty of this. I see so many other people do this and we as moms are running ourselves ragged to make magical family vacation memories. The travel hangover is that day after you get home, maybe two days, maybe three, but you are exhausted. <laughs> You not only kept yourself alive in a different state, a different country, you kept your family alive, you provided entertainment, probably traveled in multiple different ways, planes, trains, automobiles, and you made it home. You're all in one piece. Hopefully nothing too exciting happened during your journey. And say you had a fantastic vacation and nothing went wrong, you still facilitated a major feat with all of this magic happening and now you're home and you don't get downtime. You don't get to relax. You have to bounce back into real life, whether that's you going to work or you're getting kids back onto school schedules. You have to pick up where you left off. And if you went on vacation during the summer, it's getting back into routines or getting kids ready to go back to school, which is even a bigger challenge. So what can we do to try to feel better? Never mind the fact that you were probably loving the idea of having this vacation to look forward to. And now it's like, wah, wah, wah. It's over. There's nothing else to look forward to. So let's talk about how you can feel your best when you're coming back from a vacation. Okay. The first thing, super simple. And you're probably sick of hearing me say it, but you need to hydrate. You need to rehydrate your body. You need to physically feel better so that you can mentally and emotionally handle everything that's going to go into getting back on track with your family. Make sure you're drinking your water. I personally love to get some electrolytes into that water. In a jam, you can use Pedialyte. I use Liquid IV pretty often. LMNT is another great brand for just getting some electrolytes back into your body. But think about it. If you've been traveling, you've probably been drinking less because you didn't want to have to make as frequent pit stops for bathroom breaks. Uh, if you've been on a plane, you're, you've dehydrated yourself. Planes are super dry. Maybe you've been having more sugar sugary drinks or more alcoholic drinks than you normally would in your day-to-day -day life. So let's rehydrate, flush out the system. It's boring, but I promise it'll help make you feel better physically. Okay, number two, and it might be too late for it this time, but it'll help you plan for the next time. Plan in a buffer day into your trip. So a buffer day is coming back a day early, a day earlier than you have to, than you absolutely have to. So it means that maybe you come back on a Saturday, so you still have Sunday before you bounce into Monday and start being productive again. Maybe it means that your vacation's only five days instead of six or seven. Planning in that buffer day might feel like you're going to get gypped on vacation, but it's going to make your transition back into the real world a lot easier and take a lot of pressure off yourself and take a lot of pressure off your kids. So for example, we came back yesterday. We did three states in four days. It was a whirlwind trip. You can check out the travel vlog if you want to see everything that we did, but we did the beach. I had doctor's appointments in New York. We had a lot going on and we hit up Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York all in three and a half days and then flew back home. And yesterday was just a wash. It worked out because it was like a rainy day. There was a tropical storm. There was not much we were going to do anyway, but I basically laid in bed, got very little done, did maybe a little video editing. The kids played just dance, I think, as their only physical movement for the day. But other than that, like watched movies, played video games, just kind of vegged out. And we all just needed it after the super stimulation of the trip and going, 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 always being in a car or on a plane or having somewhere to be at a certain time, letting our nervous systems just like come down and calm down and settle and reset before having to get things done this week coming up. And we don't even have a super busy week coming up, but just having a day where we could decompress and not have to be somewhere or do something at a certain time. We could just basically eat, drink and rest. And it's okay. I think that we get conditioned that we have to be doing something all the time to be considered productive. But 
like Elise Meyer says, rest is productive and it's going to keep you healthier. It's going to give your body a chance to relax and recuperate. Maybe you won't come down with something. It's not uncommon to have a cold or just feel run down or be sick after going on vacation because you're going, going, going and doing things the entire vacation. And then you hop right back into going, going, going and doing things when you get home. So I highly recommend a buffer day, a rest day when you get home. All right. I saved the best for last (laughs) number three, because this is the best part. It's honestly the most fun. Uh, You know, those post vacation blues that you get when you don't have something exciting like a vacation to look forward to. I don't know if this is the healthy way to do things, but it's the way I like to do things and it hasn't steered me wrong so far. But I recommend always having another trip planned, (laughs) whether it's next summer's vacation or you said, oh my gosh, we loved the beach house we stayed in so much. Let's go ahead and book it for next summer and put our deposit down or before you leave for your trip, even better, having something booked that you can look forward to. Now, I obviously with being a travel content creator constantly have trips booked, but even before this, I would absolutely either have something booked before we left so that I had something to look forward to when we came back or come home and on that buffer day, on that rest day, window shop vacations, why not? Even if you don't go on to book something, there's no harm in looking. I also think it's a great time to like reflect on the trip you just took and maybe at dinner that night on your buffer day, talk about your favorite memories, the favorite things that you did. You don't have to rush into the next greatest thing. You can absolutely take the time to appreciate the trip that you just had and appreciate the vacation, the work that you put into it, the magic that you made, the memories that you made. All of that is important. And we like to play, what was your favorite thing that happened? What was the thing that you liked the least that we did? What would you want to do again on our next trip? That kind of stuff to have make conversations about it. And the kids travel journals that that I created have those thought provoking questions in there. So it's, uh, you know, a little drawing, a little coloring, a little um, talking about what happened, a little documenting, kind of like scrapbooking so that they can naturally become keepsakes of that trip and we can process that or bring them back out and look at them in the future. So I'll link them in the description if you're interested in those, but they're great for kids like four years old to 10, 11 years old, I would say. But there is no shame in having another trip to look forward to having something even planned for just yourself, whether it's a a spa getaway or a weekend on your own or with girlfriends or any small trip to look forward to. I don't think there's any harm, any shame in planning something for yourself so you have something to look forward to. It's hard to come down from that dopamine. I mean, I think for probably your family, it might even be easier for them to jump back into real life, but you've been the one putting in all the energy and the planning, getting travel reviews and hotel reviews and all of the minute details that go into planning an amazing trip. So to take it from that being like a big focus of your life to not having that, go plan yourself something fun. All right, guys, safe travels, wishing you some restful recovery. Leave the boxes and the mess for another day and give yourself some time to recover. You just accomplished something big by taking your family on vacation and you deserve all the kudos and all the rest going forward. I'll see you next time. Oh my God, it's great. Oh no, wrong color. It looks like an ice cream. Here's the remote. What happened? That's a little better. Stop right. Can we just do the video like this? More evidence of a travel hangover. Testing, testing. It's not on. It's not plugged in. <laughs> Get it together, Bridge.